everyone i'm gonna be doing a movie reviews as i said in my new year's video i'll review every 2020 movie i saw every week as i can by the way i'm gonna be reviewing deathstroke knights and dragons and since this movie's rated r it's your description is advised because whoever randomly watches this i don't want people being mad at me and stuff like that oh because they talk about rated r movie so um yeah be warned because there's a lot of gore in this movie. So, yeah, I'm going to talk about Deathstroke, Knights and Dragons, and see what I thought about it. Let's start now. Now, I rewatched this movie earlier today. Um, I didn't watch the rest of it, but I watched it, like, three times in total. So, um, this is, like, eh, it's an okay movie. I like, the animation's really, like, colorful. Like, the way Deathstroke looks. And, by the way, where are my pros for this movie? One of them is, hmm, it's, it's the guy who plays Deathstroke, Michael Chiklis. I mean, as you probably know, I may have mentioned Michael Chiklis earlier in my 2020 video, but I love Michael Chiklis. I loved him in Gotham. He's, he was actually my favorite part of Gotham. I love Nathaniel Barnes. My only call on with that is... I wish Barnes is in the rest of the show, but that's off topic, sorry. But anyway, yeah, I, it's like, this movie's about, like, Deathstroke, like, going on some assassination missions while his family gets hunted, and, um, one day, Deathstroke's kid gets kidnapped, and then he gets murdered, and, um, that's what leads to him, Deathstroke, and his wife to fall apart. So, um, yeah, that's... Kind of cliche. It's, it's an okay story. It's just very not really interesting to me. The gore is just it's too obvious. Like people get shot to death. People get their brains blown out. It's a crazy movie. It's no wonder it's rated R. There's blood that splatters all over Deathstroke. It's a pretty crazy movie. Like I don't really got anything to say about this movie. It's a fine animated movie. I mean. I, the CW, I think, did this movie, so... Honestly, I definitely would look forward to CW's future. To, um... DC movies. CW is great with DC, especially with the Arrowverse. But, um, other than that, I'd probably give this movie, like, a 6 out of 10. Maybe a 5. How about a 6? So, uh, yeah. Thanks for watching. I'm going to be doing a next review. I forget what it was. I think it's Superman Red Sun. I have to go look on my list. So, um, thanks for watching. See you guys next time.